Hey YouTube, it's Marita and welcome to another edition of the Nurse Lounge. And in this edition, I'm actually going to address a couple of comments that was left in my, um, under my videos, uh, two in particular videos that comments were left under that was not the best. So I'm not sure if one of them specifically was a criticism or, or what it was. However, I'm going to address it here today because other people may be going through the same thing and for someone to leave an insensitive comment um, doesn't sit well with me because that means you're thinking about you and you're not thinking about how narcissism impacts other people outside of you. So the comment was this, basically said that uh, one of my videos had to deal with the narcissistic, um, the mother of the narcissist. And the person made a comment saying something along the lines of that, wow, I was very tolerant of allowing um, my mother-in-law or my husband to, you know, allow, uh, just tolerant of their behavior basically is what, it's, what it was saying. And that they would never allow their mother-in-law or anybody to come in between, to come into their household basically and, and do whatever they do. So to that, I say, to that, I say this. I wasn't per se tolerant. We as women or men who are in narcissistic marriages or relationships aren't per se tolerant. It's not that we tolerate the abuse, okay? It's the fact that, or you know what? I can't speak for nobody else. Let me speak for myself. It's not that I tolerate the, the abuse or tolerate the tolerate the 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 treatment with my um my my she's deceased now, but my mother-in-law and the antics between mother and son. It's the fact that you have to understand that sometimes I have other people to think about besides me. It's my children. These are my, my children's father and grandmother. Now, with that being said, people who are being abused, and again, I don't mean physical abuse in itself. I mean physical, mental, financial, sexual, any type of abuse. We who have been in narcissistic relationships have been abused. And again, it doesn't necessarily mean physically. It could be any aspect that I just named. And when you are abused, you don't get out of relationships just like that. A lot of people are fearful of getting out of relationships. They don't know what they're gonna do. They're not, they don't know how they're gonna move on. So for you to come on here and be insensitive and say that I was tolerant of something because it's something that you wouldn't have done, well then you stay in your lane because this is not your issue. This is not a tolerant situation where we're talking about a normal relationship where I wouldn't put up with X, Y, and Z. This is a situation where we have been, we have been blindsided. We have not, we, we did not, or we chose to ignore the red flags. And I can admit that for myself. We chose to ignore the red flags or, or different things like that. And as a result, we get married, we have children, things like that happen. Um, in my situation, I was married to, or I'm married to a covert narcissist. So you need to take some time to really look up narcissism, NPD, um, and understand really where this comes from and that we are not tolerant of anything. It's just many of us are trying to make our relationships work. And many of us are not well aware, at least at the time of that it's going on, that this is what's going on. We are not, most of us are not consciously saying, oh, he's a narcissist and I'm going to try to, you know, make this work. Once we realize what the problem is, once we realize they do not get better, once we realize they're not going to change, once we realize we have to move on, then we make those necessary adjustments to do so. Many of us have to have an exit strategy. If you have children, if you're reliant on your significant other for income, you just can't up and move because of the fact that you don't like something. So we don't tolerate anything. It's the fact that we have to realize that once we make a decision to, to leave or to move on, that we have to make a plan to move on. So your ignorance about us being tolerant is 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 really a reflective, reflective of you. The fact that you, before you come onto my channel, onto my video, talking about something you don't know because you haven't experienced it, you need to stay in your lane. Because we have experienced a different kind of abuse. And again, sometimes people who are married or involved with narcissistic people are physically abused, but abuse does not just mean physical. And I, I've already replied to this person saying that do you think someone who's being beat up on, punched on, hit on, do you think they tolerate that? Do you think that's something that they want? No, we don't want any of it. The thing is, we are trying to figure out a way to get out of the situation. 
And until then, sometimes you have to tolerate, as you say, things until you can come up with a plan or exit strategy to move on. Sometimes we tolerate things at work all the time until we can make a plan. So everybody doesn't have the leisure just to say, okay, you know what? You have disrespected me one time, I'm gonna move on. When it comes to a marriage, it's just not that simple. So I suggest that next time you come to this video or these videos of mine regarding anything that I do or don't tolerate, I'm not tolerating you. So don't come back over here talking something that you don't know. If you cannot empathize with either me or the people who are going through this particular ordeal, narcissist abuse or NPD, people who are dealing with people who have NPD, we are not doing this because we want to do this. We're trying to get out of our situations and the ones who have not gotten out is trying to find a strategy in which they can get out, where they can be on their own, where they can get out of the, the marriage or a relationship, where they can break the soul tie, where they can stop the hoovering, where they, they don't even understand what's going on. So again, please get out of our comments or my comments talking about something you know nothing about. That's the first one. The second one, the second one, the person's name was JT something. And they made a comment saying that um, in one of my videos that they feel like I'm a narcissist because of the fact that I mentioned that I was a nurse eight times in a video. Well, JT, I'm not a narcissist and evidently you don't know what a narcissist is because if you did, you would have made the comment. Now, with that being said, they also said that I had low self-esteem because I had to brag about my accomplishments. Well, you know what? Let me explain something to you, JT. First of all, people who are hurt try to hurt other people. So you're talking about yourself. You have low self-esteem. I don't go around hurting people on purpose. You do. You evidently must don't understand that narcissists, we all have narcissistic traits. Okay, we have narcissistic traits. But that doesn't mean we're a narcissist. Look up the definition of NPD. Narcissistic Personality Disorder. I do not have that, okay? I do not have that. Now, back to me mentioning that I was a nurse eight times. Well, guess what? This is number nine. I am a nurse. I'm a registered nurse, that's number 10. I'm a doctorally, pre doctorally prepared registered nurse, that's number 11. So I'm very proud of the fact that I'm a nurse. And just because I'm proud of something does not mean I'm a narcissist. Evidently, you have nothing to live for. Evidently, you are not proud of anything that you have accomplished, or maybe you haven't accomplished anything. Therefore, you seek the time to come to people's page and try to tear them down because they do something several times. I am very proud that I'm a nurse. I am a black nurse. I also am a registered nurse and I'm doctorally prepared. I've said it what now, 10, 11, 12 times. So JT, take that information and do something with it. Because evidently you are coming to my page because you have time because you're a fan. And I appreciate you for coming to the page and showing them some light not about me, but about you and the fact that you are not where you want to be in life. So since you don't want to, since you're not where you want to be in life, that shows by the fact that you made that comment. I'm a first generation college graduate. My mother and father never graduated from high school, let alone college. I'm the first person in my family who has a master's, yet alone a doctorate degree. I'm also the first person in my family who has four degrees. Yes, count them. One, two, three, four. A bachelor's in psychology, a BSN in nursing, a master's in nursing education, and yes, a doctoral degree. So yes, I am very proud of those accomplishments that I have made, but that in itself does not make me a narcissist. That just makes me proud of my accomplishments. Now, you are very confused, and I really suggest you go pick up a book, JT, because evidently you don't know what anything means. Hurt people hurt people. You, my friend, have low self-esteem. You, my friend, are troubled. And you are blocked and be blessed. Anyway, I will not address any more comments. Um, or actually, I won't say I won't address. I address comments all the time. Uh, usually, just I type them, you know, reply, reply back in a private message or whatever. But I don't tolerate nonsense on my channel. I just don't. I don't do drama. I don't do any of those things. So with that being said, I had to come on here today and set the first person straight and set JT straight, poor thing, because of the fact that they are ignorant. Ignorance is bliss. But sometimes we have to educate people about where they stand and that they need to stay in their own lane. Um, for you to come, for both of you to come onto somebody else's channel and for both of you to come here to spread your misnomers about things you know nothing about then it shows how ignorant you are. So therefore, I thought I would go ahead and share 
with my other viewers about your ignorance. So that way we can school other people who think they can come onto my channel specifically and come on here with the nonsense because I don't tolerate it. Anyway, that's all for now. Until the next time, you all take care. Um, again, I don't do negativity on this channel. I don't start nothing, but I will finish it. You all have a good day.